Hi friends, I'm happy to see you today. The title of our book today is Summer Days and Nights. And the author and illustrator of our book is Wong Herbert Yi. I think you guys will enjoy seeing some of the fun things that happen on summer days and nights. But before we read our book, let's get our bodies ready. Everybody sit up straight and tall. Nice job. Hands up. Good. And help me sing. We'll sing. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, friends. Everybody is looking ready to read our story, Summer Days and Nights. Has the story started yet? No, it has not. This is the title page. Now the story is starting. Oh, look at that child. What a big yawn. Summer days are so warm and bright. Paint my room in morning light. Bright light. Hey, that's a rhyme. Is cat naps in a patch of sun. My summer day has just begun. Sun begun. Those are rhyming words. In the meadow where daisies grow, I creep along on tippy toe. Hmm, grow toe. Rhyming words. I wonder if you guys are hearing the rhyming words. Behind a clump of rocks, I stoop up and over, down, swip, swoop. <laughs> What's this inside my net? Oh, let's look. Hmm. Do you see what was in our net? Right here. It's a flower. It says, hmm, no butterflies just yet. Summer days can get so hot. Makes me steam like a teapot. <laughs> Beneath an oak tree. In the shade, I sip an ice-cold lemonade. What else is there to keep me cool? Hmm, what else? What would keep you cool in the summer? Let's see. <gasps> Curse splash! I jump into the pool. I wonder if any of you jump into the pool. An insect whizzes past my bed, head. It zips into the flower bed. Bzz, bzz, bzz. What's this I see? What insect does she see that says bzz? What do you think? Let's find out. A black and yellow bumblebee. Summer's Eve, before it's dark. Hooray, a picnic in the park. First, let's use our eyes by eyes. Can you find the bumblebee? It's in the flowers right here. Do you see it? <laughs> oh, and it looks like they're going for a walk in the park. Have you ever gone for a walk in the park? It's lots of fun. From tree to tree, I run and hide. Whee! <laughs> I shoot straight down the slide. We spread a blanket on the ground. Plates and napkins passed around. Guess who comes to join the fun? So it looks like they're having a picnic right here. Who do you think might try and join the picnic? Who do you think? Let's find out. Black ants march 
watching one by one. Here they are. There's all the ants. Why do ants come to a picnic? Why do you think the ants come to the picnic? Maybe they smell the yummy food and they want some. A golden sun sinks in the sky. Another summer day gone by. And what are they in right now? What's this? They're in the car. Yeah, they're in their car. Summer nights, too hot to sleep. From the windowsill, I peep. I hear a noise, a scritch, scratch sound. Something's creeping on the ground. Who is there outside my house? Who do you think is making that scratching sound? What do you think? Let's find out. <gasps> Why? It's just a tiny mouse. A shadow drifts across the grass. I duck and wait as it floats past. First, let's look at the mouse. See the little mouse? There it is. Looks like it's running off. Then something flew by. It says, who, who, it cries. Who is calling me? Oh, what's this right here saying, who, who? Do you see it in the trees? Oh, let's see. Oh, look, a barn owl in the tree. Summer nights, moonlit skies, wink. Blinking, blinking, fireflies. Fireflies blink at night in the sky. Sometimes you can see them lighting up, flying around. I hear a, a splash. See something jump. A voice croaks low. Do you know what it might be? Look at the log right here. Do you see what it might be? Mmm. It's like a frog. Do you see it? Right there. Right here. <laughs> a summer breeze blows through the trees. It bends the branches, rustles leaves. Is it daytime or nighttime in this picture? It's nighttime, right? The sky is dark. The moon is out. And in these pictures, the child is holding a flashlight. The flashlight helps her see in the dark. Across the field, on past the gate, my eyelids droop. Oh, it's getting late. So let's look right here. Her eyelids are drooping. That means they're closing. It's getting late. How does she look in this picture? How does the child look? I think she might be feeling sleepy. Yeah, she had a very busy day. I crawl in bed, turn off the light, and dream of summer days and nights. I wonder if my friends do any fun things during summer days and nights where they live. The end. There you go. Boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed our book, Summer Days and Nights. It was a really nice one. But right now, we are all done reading our story. It is time for us to say goodbye. Everybody put up your waving hand. Nice job, and help me sing. We'll sing, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye boys and girls, I'll see you soon.